Hey y'all, it's another day in the shop. Uh, if you all been watching the uh, polling videos, uh, playing B here, you can kind of hear it misfiring, kind of popping, whatever. Um, we're floating the valves. Uh, springs must be getting a little weak or whatever. Uh, we're going to take care of that today. So uh, I've already pulled the valve cover off and seen what was happening and made sure there's nothing, da no damage. But uh, so let's. Uh, Let's get this problem fixed. Alright y'all, uh, like I said, I've already I pulled the valve cover off once, so it's been a few days since I pulled it off, but I did have it off. Come on. Forget what I did. Alright, there we go. Now we got it off. So, there's the rockers, uh, they're just factory stock rockers, and what I did was, uh, I got it on the intake stroke valve all the way open, uh, well I guess I should tell you what we're going to do, we're going to shim the valves up, um, put some, some extra seat pressure and stuff on them, uh, put a little extra pressure on it by putting shims on it and make them, making them tighter. Uh, I did go ahead and, like I said, rolled the motor over to the intake stroke, um, uh, lifters at full, you know, it's full lift, took some feeler gauges, went in here, checked the gap in the, you know, in the spring, and it is, it's, uh, about 55 thousandths, so, uh, I like to have them you know, at this point here, I like to have them 20 to 30 thousandths. Uh, so I'm lucky to have a Summit Racing up the hill from me uh, within an hour. Uh, I say over the hill. Uh, but uh, we picked up some uh, valve spring shims. Uh, they just look like washers, but they're these are 15 thousandths. <coughs> I wanted, you know, thicker ones. Uh, I'll probably put 30 thousandths in it. That'll give me 25 thousandths clearance. So, uh, yeah. Um, this is all they had in the, the, the diameter I wanted with the outs, outside diameter, inside diameter. So, uh, usually I use comp cams ones. Uh, now this is going back to my, the drag racing years, you know early teens and stuff like that um, uh, we used to use the comp cam ones you used to be able to buy them individually you know one shim you know because I mean everyone might be a little little different so to get equal pressure on all of them or different pressure between your intake and your exhaust um, whichever one however you wanted it you could buy different thicknesses um, 15 15s, 20, 30, and 60s. Um, but to get that pack, I guess, um, it was like 50 bucks. This was like 10. So um, we'll just double them up. There's 16 in here, so there's plenty. So uh, like I said, I've already done my measurement. Uh, measured all four of them. Uh, 30 thousandths will be plenty good for all of them. Um, like I said, just I want some extra seat pressure on this thing. Um, I did not build this engine from scratch. This tractor was bought, turnkey, ready to pull, um, and it had actually had a gas carburetor on it for pump gas. And over the time, you know, we've changed it, uh, put it over on methanol. So uh, I don't want to put a whole lot into this thing. Um, 
it probably does need rebuilt and redone and gone through and everything uh, but I want to build my new engine for next season so uh, we've got I've got other plans for this for this whole tractor for next year but for right now get us through the rest of the season we're gonna do this so um, let me grab some tools to get these rockers off um, and uh, we'll uh, get to uh, putting these shims in all right y'all off camera I went ahead and pulled them rockers off turned the motor over to where pistons on the up swing um, they're almost at top dead center I got a valve spring compressor here an overhead valve spring compressor on here um, so we're gonna try to do this without pulling the head off um, I do got my air hose here to thread in the uh, cylinder and hopefully put some air to it and hopefully not turn the motor over but uh, yeah, it turned the motor over <laughs> but, oh, she popped off all right so that's gonna put an air pressure in there is gonna hold the hopefully hold the valve up I gotta get down further on my on my valve spring. We may not be able to do this without taking these off. I've never done it. I mean, I've taken the valves off, valve springs off of these before, like this. But that was a different engine with stock valves. These are our aftermarket valve springs. Um, but I don't know if we'll be able to to uh, get it or not. But hopefully we can. Hey. We just moved back through the carburetor. Yep. All right, y'all. I'm going to shut the camera off here. I'm going to work on this a little bit. Like I said, I really don't want to pull the heads off this thing, but uh, if I have to, I have to. So let me work on this a little bit, and then we'll... Uh, We'll try to bring you guys back. All right, y'all. Uh, I've tried multiple different sets of valve spring compressors I've had around the shop. Um, the, the, the scissor style that go in, tried those, can't get them on. My overhead valve ones, um, my manual ones that you, you know, uh, push down on, use the rocker stud and push down on. Uh, the locks are stuck in the, uh, in the uh, keepers um, so looks like we are going to pull this head off uh, not what I wanted to do but sometimes you got to do what you got to do so um, I'm gonna work get this stuff loosened up and uh, we'll just have to hope for the best of sealing the head back up so uh, yeah so all right let me get to this all right y'all I got that head off, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna try to get these valve springs off. This valve tool, this spring tool, doesn't fit very well either. Loosen it up here and see if I can't get it on the retainer just a little bit better. All 
All right, y'all. Um, I literally had to put pressure on it and tap on the end of my valve tool to get these keepers to come loose. Um, these things have been on here for years. So... Springs off here. I'm dropping everything today, y'all. I must be having a really, really bad day. So. All right. Get that out of the way. Get this swept up here. Yeah, I still see what I'm doing, yeah. Alright, there. We got the valve spring off. Got our shims here. Like I said, I'm going to put two of them in there to make 30 thousandths. So, got two of them there. Get them dropped down over there. Now, of course... Whoever machined these pockets. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see. But these have already been machined. They should be flat across there. And somebody machined these things. Why, I don't know. But the center hole is not a standard, standard size. And the outside is not a standard size, y'all. <sighs> These are what I should need for a head that's, matter of fact, here's a head right here that's not been machined. See, there's no, no relief in there. Um, like I said, I did not build this engine. Um, These aren't my heads, y'all. These are these are twisted V-twin garages heads. Um, I'm half tempted to bolt these ones on. Yeah, but they've been machined out for the roller rockers. Huh, <sighs> y'all. Never ends. All right, I'm going to shut the camera off. I'll bring y'all back. All right, y'all. What I've decided to do, I'm going to take my Dremel tool, get in here, and just clean a little bit out. But I'm going to do it outside so I don't get any of these metal shavings or anything in here. I'll do four of them. And uh, uh, hopefully that... Uh, That'll take care of the problem, so uh, let me get that done. We'll take it outside, like I said, and do it for the dust and everything and metal shavings are all outside. And then uh, we'll come back in and hopefully they fit. All right, y'all. Um, just a, I just held them, went around for 10 seconds, and uh, they fit right down in now. Perfect, just how I wanted them to. So, got two on that one. That's thirty thousandths. Those ones fit down in nice and perfect. So, I'm gonna grab the camera here. Hopefully, it's not too shaky and show you exactly uh, what uh, what we got going on here. All right, y'all. Uh, you can see here this little raised boss. Um, I don't have my I don't have a little pointer. Uh, but that little raised section right there in the middle, that's what was holding us up on the outside of them, or the inside of those shims. You can see where this is recessed down in here, kind of. So, yeah, so 30 thousandths on there. Um, yeah, I know this valve seal was uh, tore up, so I'm going to see if I got any around here. I probably do, so get that replaced, and then... Uh, We'll uh, 
we'll uh, get this thing back together. So, all right, put you back on the tripod so y'all aren't getting seasick. All right, y'all. Got those valves all put back together, or valve springs and everything we'll put back together. Um, I did have another valve seal, so or valve stem seal. So, all right. Uh, I just got to get the uh, underside of the head here cleaned up and uh, get the head gasket cleaned up and sealed. Put some sealer on it and we'll get it sealed up. So uh, we'll uh, get back over to the tractor there and bring you guys back then. Hi right, y'all. You see I got the head back on. Uh, got my rockers all adjusted. Everything should be good to go. Um, I just got to put the spark plug back in on this side, but I'm going to leave it out till I do the other side. So, um, I'll go ahead and put the, uh, valve cover and everything back on this side. Make sure no dirt or anything gets in it. I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to do it off camera just because I kind of showed you guys what I was doing on this side. So, I'm going to go get that done. And then, uh, we'll bring you guys back for a final look-see and little show and tell what we got going on so all right we'll be back seen in the video um, it did help some uh, I think we have other issues uh, like I said I did not build this engine in this tractor we bought it the way it is uh, it was my brother's tractor uh, it's a good starter tractor for him to get into it and he shows that he doesn't like driving it and uh, so no big deal I'll take it but uh, I think the cam I don't think the cam is set up to do what I want it to do. Um, I think it'll be better uh, if we put a governor back in it, drop it down to the 6,000 RPM. Uh, that seems like where it's about happy, 6, 650, something like that. Um, anything over that, it just doesn't want to build the RPMs and the valves start floating and uh, it just it won't make any more power. So that's going to be a winter project. Uh, we got. Uh, I think two or three more poles and then uh, we're done for the season so uh, look forward to you know working on the uh, engine in plan B putting it back to a 6,000 governor modified engine and then uh, if things go right planning on building another engine actually a whole new tractor uh, open RPM you know uh, highly modified so look forward to that um, a couple other Little projects kind of in the wings. Uh, I would like to build a stock 10 horse tractor to uh, for a giveaway, uh, kids class. Uh, I've got the I've got the whole complete tractor, everything. We could do pretty fairly fairly easy, fairly cheap, and uh, also we want to finish uh, monkey business. Uh, I've been doing a little work off camera, gathering parts and stuff. Uh, so as soon as pulling season stuff's over and things calm down around here, we'll get back on that too. So um, oh, it's going to be a busy winter, y'all. Hope you all hang out and uh, enjoy the content. So catch you all on the next one.